Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone. Welcome to English lesson with Teacher Farah. Insya-Allah in today's video we gonna learn about have got and has got. Baiklah. Insya-Allah hari ini kita akan belajar berkenaan dengan cara penggunaan has got and have got. Before we start our lesson today, let us sing this song together. Module 1. Welcome. Sing a song. Smart friends. Hello, I'm Sharky. I'm a big fish. I've got big teeth and three purple fins. Who's that? Who's that? What's his name? His name is Greg. He's got brown eyes. His hair is a brown. He's very nice. Who's that? What's her name? Her name is Anna. She's got blonde hair. Her eyes are green. She's a pretty girl. Did you notice in the lyrics, I've got, he's got, she's got, what are they? I've got stand for I have got. He's got stand for he has got. She's got stand for she has got. But what is the differences between have got and has got? Apakah perbezaan antara cara penggunaan have got dan has got. Well, we use have got for pronouns I, you, we, they. And we use has got for pronouns he, she, it. So class, now I will give you the example for your more understanding. Okay, baiklah kelas. Tisha akan berikan contoh-contoh uh, yang lebih mendalam berkenaan has got and have got untuk kamu lebih memahami tentang tajuk ini. Cara penggunaan has got dan have got. Now, the example of have got. The first one I have got a new car. Second example, the pupil have got a new class teacher. The third example is, we have got homework to do. Here are few examples of has got for she. She has got long hair. The second one, she has got short hair. The third one, she has got curly hair. Let's look at the example for pronouns it. It has got blue eyes. It has got long tails. It has got ribbon on its neck. Now, let's look at the example of has got for he. The first one, he has got curly hair. The second one, he has got blonde hair. The third one, he has got 
black hair okay class now you have learned about have got and has got right do you know what is the opposite of a uh, have got and has got let me tell you the opposite of have got and has got is haven't got and hasn't got baiklah semua teacher akan terangkan berkenaan dengan haven't got dan hasn't got haven't got and hasn't got cara penggunaannya adalah untuk menidakkan sesuatu perkara ayat tersebut menidakkan ayat tersebut haven't got digunakan untuk i you we they dan hasn't got digunakan untuk pronouns he she it okay class okay class now you have learned about have got and has got right do you know what is the opposite of a uh, have got and has got let me tell you the opposite of have got and has got is haven't got and hasn't got baiklah semua teacher akan terangkan berkenaan dengan haven't got dan hasn't got haven't got and hasn't got cara penggunaannya adalah untuk menidakkan sesuatu perkara ayat tersebut menidakkan ayat tersebut haven't got digunakan untuk i you we they dan hasn't got digunakan untuk pronouns he she it okay class Here a few example of haven't got. I haven't got a new car. The people haven't got a new class teacher. The third one, we haven't got homework to do. Now let's move to the example of hasn't got. He hasn't got curly hair. The second one, he hasn't got blonde hair. And the last one, he hasn't got black hair. Let's look at the example of hasn't got for pronouns it. The first one, it hasn't got blue eyes. The second one, it hasn't got long tails. The third one, it hasn't got ribbon on its neck. Thanks for watching my video. Have a nice day.